Hello, this is a video about an auto brick creation. The auto bricks is a secret group, well, not so secret anymore, but a secret group of Lego Transformer builders that are looking for new members. If you build Lego Transformers, yes, you specifically, if you build Lego Transformers and your work is very, very good, you could be accepted into the auto bricks community if you would like to join please put a comment down below with your link to your channel saying that you would like to join and if it is accepted by the group you could be a new member of the auto bricks thank you so much for listening to me in my deep voice now, on to the very first Auto Brick Build Challenge Review. Hey guys, Chicken Moon with Chicken Moon's Mox, and today I have a brand new video for you guys on Riptide. My, one of my very first, actually I think it might be my very first Beast Transformer, it's an OC. So anyways, uh, this is a very, very cool Great White Shark, at least in my opinion. So, uh, this is Riptide, like I mentioned, and he is the very first auto brick build challenge. So, I, if you watch the intro, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But anyways, so, basically we have a bi-monthly build challenge, and this time we had two challenges, so you could build either one. Uh, this is the very first video on their entry, so... But I'll, there'll probably be more in the coming month, so expect those. They're going to be pretty cool. Uh, I'll have a link to everybody who is in the uh, Auto Brick community so far. So go check out their channels in the links below. They all greatly appreciate it. So, anyways, let's get on to minifigure of the day. Thanos. Uh, figured Infinity War has been out long enough, so it's about time I put a Marvel minifigure in. And who's better than Thanos? <laughs> this is just a short-legged version. No spoilers for Infinity War as I haven't watched it, please, in the comments below. So, we're going to take a look at Riptide. Alright, so, here we have his weapons. Uh, he's got dual... Well, there's two stud shooters attached to each other with a cheese slip. I mean, nothing too amazing. But the shark mode looks... Awesome. I love this shark mode. The joints look perfectly in there. They, they fit just perfectly well on this thing. I mean, his weapons are his teeth, of course, in this mode. And he's also got a pretty cool feature with his gun. Uh, insert your uh, Austin Powers reference here. But you can put your... Have a shark with lasers attached to his head. That's awesome. I love that. And the best part is you don't even have to take them off for transformation. They just stay there. But, uh, anyways, so, tail moves back and forth on this joint and on the bottom joint, but it kind of messes up the look of it a little bit. The head, not very poseable, sadly. I mean, you can open it up just slightly, but it's not a whole lot. And I'll show you why whenever I transform them. My minifigure for scale, and he is, he's a, this might be my f very first minifigure scale transformer. So, we're doing, we're make, breaking a lot of uh, my rules here. So, we're going to move minifigure out of the way. But yeah, I think this might be my very first minifigure scale. I mean, I'm not, I'm just sure on the size of a shark compared to a human. But, he could eat a human, or he could eat a minifigure in this scale. Anyways... Let's get on to transformation. So the transform, you got to take them off his stand. The stand doesn't do anything except make them look cooler in shark mode. Because <laughs> who wants this <laughs> land shark? Or woo, 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 Sharknado combining two movies. Anyways, all right. Let's uh, transform them. So the transform uh, riptide here is pretty simple. You're going to take the tail, fold it like that. And then you're going to straighten everything out. And look, it's a dolphin tail now. This is no longer a shark tail, it's a dolphin tail. 
fold that down and then get that out of the way fold this down and you're pretty much done once you do that with the bottom half or at least this chest area next you're gonna do is you're gonna take the dorsal fin which I love this transformation it's on a t-bar so you can rotate it and then you can just fold it down I thought that was a very cool technique pretty clever if I do say so myself next thing you're gonna do is probably one of the cooler things about this guy the gill section it all rotates out like that and this exposes all of the blue pieces on this guy which become accents in his robot mode and you can see the uh, technique I used to get the jaw in the right spot it's very interesting and very hard to cover up and get right so take notes if you want to fold these down and rotate the feet the reason you're going to rotate the feet is just to give him a little bit better uh, standability. <laughs> he doesn't stand very well as is, so whenever you rotate them, it just... Whoop. That clip is a little wore out. Rotate those down like that, and you have a weird-looking feet. But you're just going to leave it like that. So, there you go. Next thing you're going to do is this entire... Uh, the jaws split, the bottom jaw becomes one hand, and the top jaw becomes the other hand. So I thought that was pretty clever as well. Rotate his head, which is exposed, like that. And then this part back here folds down, and then the tail, you're going to rotate that, and it just folds along his back. So, there. There you have Riptide. Now, let me get him posed right because he's, he's kind of off balance a little bit for some reason. There we go. That's yeah, better. So here is Riptide in robot mode. And I think he, it still looks pretty good. I mean, I think the shark mode looks a little bit better, but I still like him. Bring a minifigure for scale. He is... Bigger than a minifigure, and I think this is perfect. I think this is my very first minifigure scale transformer. I really do. So, uh, you can debate that in the comments below with me. You can figure out if we agree or disagree or whatever. But this is just an awesome looking uh, robot mode, I think. I mean, here we... So, uh, like I said, the blasters stay on him all the time, so he can shoot him. Let me grab that. And he's magically reloaded. So, like I said, I really, really like this guy. And I love that the it's still on his head, technically. The shark head. Now, the he doesn't have really any hands. But I'm, this guy, I'll give him a little bit of a backstory. I would assume this guy would be a army. He would They would have clones of this guy. And he would be made specifically for overrunning an enemy, overpowering them by lots of them. Kind of like the way the droids were in Star Wars, uh, the Clone Wars, if you've ever seen that. Nah, you probably haven't. Uh, his hands, he do, like I said, he doesn't have any, but I would imagine these teeth, like they're serrated because they're shark teeth. I would assume that if he wanted to pick up something, he would just stab his hands right into it, and then he could pick it up. So, yeah, that's about it, really, for uh, that. I might have a backstory put in the link for, to mock pages, so you can go check that out later on. Don't know if it'll be up whenever I upload the video, but hopefully whenever you watch it, it will be there. So this guy, he's got uh, moving right here. His articulation is not the greatest, but it's got movement at the shoulder, forward and back, forward and back on the hands, and then head rotates which is good. Then you got uh, forward and backwards on the leg, in and out on the leg, and then forward and backwards on the what I would assume is the knee, but it's so big that it might just be the leg. Uh, it might just be the foot. So, yeah, and that's pretty much it. I mean, he can aim his blaster at you. Uh, that's one of my favorite poses. So, thumbnail, probably going to be this. But, uh... 
Yep, we'll bring in some scale items. So here is my minifigure. All right, we're going to bring in some scale here. So first up for scale, we have Hot Rod, which that is good. I like that as well. But because this guy's supposed to be minifigure scale, it doesn't match with the, his scale. So I hope that makes sense. Next, we're going to move on to Soundwave, which if you like Soundwave, you can buy him on Mock Hub. So go check out that video on my channel. Info card popping up now. Anyways, <laughs> it looks pretty... I like that. I think it's fine. I mean, there's some... Because there's some, like, uh, he's supposed to, like, grow and shrink. I think that's a pretty good scale. I think that, that would work. Next we have Starscream, which is massive compared to him. Massively awesome, if you know what I mean. But uh, there he is compared. Not really that great in scale. So move him. Finally, we have Omega Supreme, which, again, if you want to buy him, info card of both. Right there. Let's check it out. All right, anyways. So, yeah, you can uh, see that's definitely out of scale, completely out of scale. And it's more of just a joke scale. So, anyways, that's about it for this video. So, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed Ripsaw as much as I enjoyed creating him and making this video. Again, go check out the description below because that shows all of the members, all the members at the time of recording in the Auto Bricks group. So, go check it out. Got lots over there, and they are all very, very cool LEGO Transformer builders. So, let's go ahead and end this video. Alright. So, guys, again, thank you so much for watching if my camera would focus. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more LEGO Transformers. And other builds on the way. So go ahead and click my minifigure if you want to subscribe. Click over here on this side if you want to see all my Transformer playlist. It shows all of them. If you click over here, you can go find my uh, Auto Brick playlist. It's brand new, so this is probably the only video on it. But hopefully later on we'll get more. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.